Okay, so here it is. It is wrapped. I always... Ooh, nine! Did I just break my box? <laughs> So as you may have seen from my last shopping vlog, I was carrying something over my shoulder. <laughs> and yes, it was a purchase from the Chanel boutique. Before we do the unboxing today, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm ready for the wrath of the internet. <laughs> Some of my regular viewers might know that a few months back I posted a video on Chanel increasing their prices in the middle of the lockdown. And also the whole story of them letting go of my beloved SA. And um, even though they basically said they would protect their staff during this global pandemic. In the video I said how wrong I felt that was and I still believe in that. Um, and now I've basically gone to the Chanel boutique and I've bought something directly from them. So I'm fully expecting someone to come and call me out on this. Um, and please do. Um, it would be interesting to hear all your different voices, um, whether you agree or disagree. I've always wanted to raise a good debate between all of us. And um, just looking back at some of the comments from my previous videos, I just think that I'm one of the lucky ones um, where I feel like all of you make really good points and we can just have a very balanced conversation and discuss a lot of things and yeah I'm very very grateful for that and yeah I definitely want to keep this going and yes today I basically call myself out <laughs> for buying something new directly from the Chanel boutique even though I said I would only consider buying from the pre-loved market from now on just because of I didn't agree with what the current management team of Chanel did but when I saw the new Metidia collection and oh, it's absolutely, all the bags are so stunning and so beautiful. I've said it several times before, the Metidia collection from Chanel is my favorite collection every single year. I'm highly like anticipating it, waiting for it, and oh, I just love the Metidia collection so, so much. And one particular bag from this year's collection is a reissue of a vintage bag that I have actually, you know, been hunting for like five years plus. And I always wanted to add that back to my collection. However, I never found the perfect one, you know, that didn't have too many scarves, that didn't have like a musty odor, that didn't have like, you know how it is with vintage bags, right? So um, when I saw that particular bag, this one, <laughs> which we get to in a second, I was like, yeah, I, I just, I can't let that one go. It's like those pieces are so, so limited. And um, yeah, it would have just been very, very wrong in my heart, <laughs> for my soul, if I would have let this one go. So without further ado, let's get down to what we're really here for, back porn. <laughs> okay, so this is my beautiful purchase. And as you can see, this bag is enormous. Um, I think I've never had such a big Chanel bag or such a big Chanel box. <laughs> so you have the nice little camellia flower right here and the ribbon. Yeah, the ribbon looks like, this is a real unboxing, so I have not opened the bag yet, but the ribbon looks already a little bit, well, yeah, I was carrying this bag the entire day yesterday. And yeah, let's get, let's get into this. So yeah, it always comes with this beautiful ribbon here. And let me just quickly get this off. Perfect. Then you have your little receipt. I bought mine in the South Kensington Chanel store, the Wharton Street Chanel store. And yeah, that's my favorite store actually. Um, because I feel like not a lot of people know about it and all the tourists <laughs> rather go to like Harrods and like Bond Street, the flagship store. Those places are more well known, I think. So yeah, I really love this little boutique. And yeah, how do we do this, wait? Oh, it is heavy. Here we go. Wait, there should be another camellia flower. Yes, it came off. <laughs> so here we go, basically. Imagine it like this. <laughs> and let me quickly get rid of this. Okay. Here's the box. And oh. Yeah, I think, yeah, this is the biggest box I've ever gotten from Chanel. All my other bags are like smaller. And I always really like the magnetic boxes that those bags come in, like no matter if it's Louis Vuitton or Chanel. And um, yeah, so how do we do this that you can see it? Okay, so let me take this camellia flower off as well. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, like... <laughs> The moment I saw um, the, that the website from Chanel basically got updated and the new Metidia pieces were online, I scrolled through and when I saw it, my heart stopped. <laughs> 
So I'm really, really hyped <laughs> about this bag. And this kind of is like a best friend every day kind of bag for me. But yeah, you will see what it is. Okay, so here it is. It is wrapped. I always... Ooh, nine! Did I just break my box? <laughs> um, let me try and carefully take the sticker off because I don't like like damaging the paper and everything. Oh, nine, of course, I damaged it. <laughs> it's really sticky. Okay, here we go. So, this is a tissue and another sticker. Yay! <laughs> This one comes up a little bit easier. Perfect. Oh, okay, here we go. The reveal. Even too heavy to hold it up. The reveal. This is the beautiful dust bag. And here we go. This is my beautiful. Right? Beautiful new Chanel CC tote and wait for it It comes with a beautiful anti gold brush gold hardware, which some of you might know is like my favorite type of hardware <laughs> so oh, Here we go. This is the beauty this model um, I've said it before in my Metidia collection review video um, I spotted it several times in other vintage shops for example in like the Tokyo Amore shop um, they have a lot of um, vintage they are specialized basically on vintage Chanel bags and they were beautiful and I was so close to already buying one there and then um, but it just didn't feel right it wasn't perfect and I've seen it several times in New York as well if you go to like shops like what goes around comes around and yeah but I've never found the perfect one and they have reissued this so the other model is from like the early 1990s um, and I think it was a three series bag or something like that and um, yeah, at the time, the other bags, the vintage bags, they were still real gold plated. Um, this, of course, is just gold metal, but I absolutely love this. I mean, so look at the look at the shine of the of the crinkled leather. It is stunning. I really, really like this leather. Um, this is actually glazed calfskin. Somebody asked me that in my other video if this was. Um, Lamb skin, goat skin or calf skin. It is calf skin, I asked my SA. And um, yeah, it comes with this. Okay, let me see, how do we do this? So first, maybe if people are interested, it comes with a dust bag, of course. And then it comes with a little Chanel um, stuff. <laughs> you always get like a cleaning cloth, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I actually do use them to clean my bags. Okay, let me put this back in here. Okay guys, so yeah, let me give you a close-up of this bag. So yeah, it comes with the big CC logo in the front and it's just stitched into the bag. And then you have these beautiful antique gold chains. And let me see, can we get a close-up of this? Yeah, here we go. So oh, this is my absolutely favorite hardware. I love the color. I think it is so stunning. Yeah, so this bag, focus, here we go. <laughs> um, as you can see, it is very plain and simple. It doesn't come with any feet. It's just a really nice tote and it feels so luxurious. It feels beautiful. Like, I think I just want to hug it. <laughs> um, at the back, it is entirely plain, which I said last time is a really nice option. I mean, you know, no matter where you are in the world. <laughs> um, sometimes you maybe don't want your designer handbags to show, so I think it's a nice option to just basically turn this back around and nobody would guess that this is a Chanel bag. So that's a big plus, I think. Um, then, yeah, it is... Oh, it is so beautiful. I mean, look at the... I, like, I'm, I'm a big, big handbag addict and if I look at, like, stitching, for example, I just get like, oh, look at how beautiful these stitches are. <laughs> <laughs> so the craftsmanship is amazing it is absolutely absolutely beautiful um, okay let's look inside this bag I'm gonna give you some modeling shots later of course as well um, I've always so yeah okay this is the inside um, it comes with a beautiful red 
Chanel lining. Let me get the stuffing out. I already got a cushion for this one <laughs> to stuff it. And this is this is a 30th series bag. So I'm gonna show you the card in a second. But yeah, basically you have like little um yeah, I'd never know what they call these things. Uh ring ring, key ring, key ring, I don't know. But yeah, you have this stuff in here. Otherwise, other than that, it is just a really plain bag. Um, you have one zipper compartment at the back and the stickers are still on. I have to take them off in a second. One zipper compartment and here's the authenticity card. Let me see. So this is already, can we see that? Yeah, this is already a 30th series bag. Whee! <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna turn 30 later this year, um, so I kind of, I know I'm very OCD, but I kind of wanted to have like a 30th series Chanel bag. Okay, so um, this is it. Wait, let me see what's this. Just a little white fluff. And oh, yeah, so very simple, very plain, but I think stunningly beautiful and incredibly well made. Um, so I have had three Neverfuls in my life and they all didn't work out. I just didn't like the look of them. Um, and I think I was always waiting for this one. <laughs> for a very plain, nice Chanel leather toe that you can use as an everyday bag. That's why I feel like this is my new best friend everyday bag. <laughs> so I'm gonna carry this, I think, just everywhere. No matter if I travel or if I just go into the city. Okay, so here is the beautiful bag. Oh, can we just take a moment? I love her so, so much. Um, yeah, so it is a very plain toad, like I said. And for reference, I'm 5758, like around 172 centimeters, if that helps. And... Yeah, I, I definitely say it is a little bit smaller than your Neverfull MM, um, just because I think the Neverfull MM is not like rectangular size, right? It goes out a little bit towards both sides. So if we'd imagine that would be the case with this bag, I think they are around the same, the same size. Um, I will do a what's in my bag video soon to show you guys what fits in here, but I'm pretty confident that you could probably take everything you need um, in here. Maybe put even a little small um, jacket on top or something like this. So yeah, absolutely beautiful. Um, I think there's no other way of course of wearing this one. Um, it feels very comfortable and I, I think once you pack stuff into the bag, it will sit even nicer on your shoulder simply because there's some weight um, that pulls the bag down. And those chains, they are actually um, they're actually a lot thicker than the Chanel Jumbo chains. So, you know, it's not heavy or anything, but it gives you a nice grip, kind of. <laughs> yeah, so this is my beautiful new baby from the Mitidia collection 2020. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I know some of you are also interested in getting this bag. Um, this one was the only one that my boutique actually received. So I would say um, if you wanted, try and get your hands on it as quickly as you can because they might be sold out very quickly as everything basically from the Metidia collection. But yeah, okay, I'm going to look at this one now and stare at it and try it probably on in front of the mirror. And yeah, <laughs> if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day, guys, and I see you soon. Bye.